enjoy the hash browns, sir. Yes, thank you. Oh, um, can I get the bill, please? Already? Yes. <laughs> but you haven't finished. <laughs> well, I mean... Well, there's, there's more on the way. Well, I've got to go. So, we serve 24-hour breakfasts here. You still have 23 and a half hours left. There's, there's a lot more breakfast coming your way. I've got to go to... We've got a whole galley back there working on this stuff, yeah? Cooks, porters, scrubbers. Three hours on, three hours off, working day and night. It's like a submarine back there. You're not just gonna leave like that, are you? Yes. Right, well, you'll lose your deposit. You can't be serious. Oh, I am deadly serious, sir. We need it as security. Why do you think we took your passport? You're keeping my passport. No, you can have that back, but we are going to keep your deposit. You know, we were very clear about this in the induction session. But I wasn't listening. Wasn't... Listening? Hmm. I was hungover. I, I was tired. I... Eyes bigger than your belly, is it? Dear, dear, dear. Look, are you sure you want to leave? That gentleman there is having the time of his life. to go to work. Well, look. OK, I have no legal obligation to release you from this contract that you signed, but I will let you go so you can go to work. Thank you. On one condition. You must apologise to the staff. <laughs> I mean, you can't be sick. OK. I'm sorry. It's not me you need to apologise to. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to you. I'm very sorry. I'm really very sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm terribly sorry to have wasted your... your... <sighs> Thanks so much for coming to my local, guys. Oh. I'm gonna miss you so much, but I hope everything goes really well in your new job. Oh, thank you. It's so lovely to hear you say that. I'm just gonna have a fag. So, um, what do you think you'll miss most about the office? Mm. Cutlery. The cutlery? Mm, oh, yeah. In the canteen. Tray after tray of shining knives, forks and spoons. It's the most intimate thing that we all share after all, isn't it? A collection of items that we all put in our mouths every day. And before you ask, yes, it is more intimate than sharing toilet seats. Because a fork goes inside. That's what helps us share our energy, our power. Constantly swapping between mouths, all of us eating and getting stronger. You might have noticed that I uh, put marks on all of the cutlery handles. Just tiny symbols, runes, to further enable me to see whose energy was being swapped where and whose energy I was embracing. All of this was utterly crucial in our strength to find one body. One body that could withstand what is out there. <laughs> we need another. 
I've given you everything! No, you haven't. What's this one? Super Strawberry. One of your first. Ah, Super Strawberry. It was all so easy back then. What is it this time? Pear. Plum! We've already had that! There aren't any left! You've bled me dry! Well, then what is the point of you? Mary? Mary? No! No! Happy! What? Happy! We've had happy. We haven't had happy. Happy pears! Happy little pears! Not today, Larry. How long are you going to keep me here? How many fruits can there be? There are hundreds, millions of possible combinations. As long as you use banana as a base thickener and grape juice for tartness, the possibilities are endless. We are limited only by your knowledge of adjectives. Positive adjectives. No one wants to drink a smoothie full of sullen blueberries and hopeless grapes. You have a day. God, it's so weird seeing the two of you here together. <laughs> my oldest best friend and my newest. It's like my childhood and my adulthood mixing. I'm so glad you finally met. I'm just gonna, um, go to the ladies, but I'll be back in a minute. I can't believe you two have known each other for 25 years. Isn't that crazy? It's like you've known each other since you were in diapers. 25 years might seem like a long time, but it's not really if you consider the eternity of death. Right. Consider mortality. Everyone in this pub is just flesh adorning a skeleton. It might seem like their lives are lengthy, if they're lucky, but they're just merely a grain of sand on an infinite shore. History will forget us all, and we should be thankful for that. <laughs> Come on, Kate. Have you never looked upon yourself in the mirror and perceived an ever-present skull beneath your face? Poked your cheek holes and realised that, actually, your eyes are round and just rest inside the empty sockets of your skull. Yeah, look, you can feel the ridges of bone underneath the flesh, just as you can feel the cold hand of death upon your shoulder. It is a kind and necessary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely day. Yeah? So what, uh, what sort of dog have you got there? I thought they're normally golden retrievers. He's a paella hound. He's a paella? A paella hound. Oh. Huh. So he leads you places? Yeah. Huh. As long as they have paella. Oh. Do you like paella? Well, not anymore. So why, why have you got a paella hound? No choice. Cuts. Is this your uh, local park then? Yeah. But it can take up to two hours to get here. Why? Well, it's a far more circuitous route via various Spanish restaurants. How'd you get anything done? I can get things done. As long as the place I need to be is on the way to Paella. Well, how'd you get home at the end of the day? I get up very early in the morning and begin to make paella. I always have to ensure there's paella at home. How'd you get the ingredients? 
he finds them. He's very good, really. As long as there's Paella. How'd you get to work? I work at the Tasca. Oh, so you're a Paella chef? Well, I am now. Thanks so much. It's insane that they won't let you in with a dog just to get a takeaway. I know. Crazy. Anyway, thanks so much. Hey, yeah. Hi, yeah. I didn't actually think that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Dad, this is Ed. Ed, this is my dad. Nice to meet you, Ed. Oh, good. Nice to meet you. I'll uh, get the drinks in. Oh, hey, take my card. My round. Oh, uh, I, I forgot, we're under the uh, flight path for the airport, right? Yeah, we are, yeah. Strange, isn't it? Sealed metal tube full of people just flying through the sky. All those people up there in that tube, they think their feet are on the floor. But it isn't a real floor. It's a lie. This is a real floor. shooting through nothing at hundreds of miles an hour. Can they feel it? Can they feel our eyes upon them? And in turn, are their eyes upon us here, in this pub? Do they feel powerful, using the toilet so close to the face of God? Have you seen the face of God? <laughs> Sorry, one second. It's not 24 hour breakfast. They expect you to eat for 24 hours. Yeah, I know what it is. Sorry about that. All right.